Well, tonight, such an inspiring story coming out of the city of Detroit. And we're talking about a man who's helping young boys achieve success by helping them navigate through their emotions so they don't succumb to negative ones. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig introduces us to Jason Wilson, who is becoming known across the country for his unique program. <laughs> It may look like a martial arts academy, but what Jason Wilson has created here is a way of training and transforming boys and young men in the cave of Adullam, offering not just discipline, but love in his guidance. Good, Elijah. That's how you fight through that. I changed the model. At first, it was all martial arts, but then I shifted it to a, a just having a safe space where we would use martial arts to help you bring to the surface what's really causing you to make detrimental life decisions or to lose focus in school or to dishonor your parents. Jason Wilson is a Detroiter, a husband and father who shares his own story of discovering what it means to be a man in his book, Cry Like a Man. And inside the cave, he helps boys face unresolved anger, hurt and even fear and learn to focus. Just check your emotion and, and you know, treat him like your little brother instead of a nuisance. Makaya is 11 years old. He's been coming to the cave since he was six. Why is faith without action dead? Faith without action is dead because faith by itself isn't enough to help people. We're right with God by doing what we believe, not by believing alone. Makayo actually is on the autism spectrum a little bit. And when he just started, he had major issues with concentrating or just sitting still. Come on, you're collapsing at the end. Come on, Elijah, you're stronger than that. Let's go. Jason uses what he calls emotional stability training to help boys, often from Detroit, who may have seen violence around them. He says helping them navigate the pressures of this world without succumbing to negative emotions. When a man becomes toxic, when he only allows his life to be lived through masculine attributes, but when a man allows himself to be comprehensive, to practice loving, being patient, kind, gentleness, when he becomes comprehensive, he becomes whole. And he says we have to stop looking at trauma as some sort of badge of honor. A friend of mine who wrote the foreword to my book, he just realized while writing it when he got shot two or three times that he didn't even cry. Why not? Because it's considered an honor or you're tough because you're still living after you got shot. The truth is that none of us should ever get shot. And while parents say the cave is transforming young lives, the waiting list to get in has grown to over 400. So they're raising money to complete their expansion here on Oakman. I believe that the cave's mission will be generational in scope. They'll be teaching their sons about what they've learned about discipline and focus and anger management. I believe that it will not only change their lives, and it'll change the community that we're in. It helps me to stay more concentrated on what's going on. And on this day, that focus helped Mikhail also complete his etiquette training, which included cutting pita bread in quarters without scratching the plate. When I see them change, when I see their grade point average, move from a .8 to a 4.0 without tutoring. It makes it worth the sacrifice. And it gives me hope that a child doesn't need medication to overcome hyperactivity, to overcome a lack of focus. Congrats, Mikhail Pan. They need love or discipline rooted in love. They need alternatives. They need someone who is focused to teach them how to be focused. 